Hi everybody, it's Dr. Rose Kumar from the Omani Center for Integrative Medicine in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. I just wanted to reach out to you and give you some pointers for COVID-19 and also some pointers for stress reduction and uh, how to support your body during this time. Our country is under a lot of stress right now and what we want to do is really be the, the calm in the storm. A lot of the fear is because of the unknown, because there is chaos, our healthcare system was not really ready for this. The physicians in the emergency rooms and urgent care centers are extremely stressed right now and working overtime to try to help their patients that are coming in. What I want you to understand is that COVID-19 presents with fever, shortness of breath and cough. If you do not have a fever and you have upper respiratory symptoms like a post-nasal drip or a runny nose, it's unlikely to be COVID-19. You may have the common cold, you may have the flu, but you do not have COVID-19. So what I would suggest is first call your primary care physician's office and let them triage you because what you don't want to do is go to the emergency room or urgent care center and further stress the physicians there who are really trying to uh, create protocols right now and to follow directives which are a little bit disorganized early during this pandemic. So the, the next thing that I want to suggest is do what you can. If we're gonna be the calm in the storm, we need to really use our higher thinking, our sense of reason, common sense. And so let's get back to basics right now. You want to eat a lot of greens during this time. You wanna eat plants. The shelves, the, the things on the shelves in the grocery stores, the processed food aisle is empty, but all of the vegetables and fruits are still available. Uh, these are not good foods for you to be eating right now. Processed foods are highly inflammatory. A lot of them are synthetic. They're not good for your gut biome. You really want to be eating an alkaline diet, which is a whole food plant-based diet. Take your broad spectrum probiotic. It will really assist your gut and reduce your inflammation. Go for a walk. Go outside, breathe some fresh air. Take a break. Take a breath. Take about five to 10 minutes a day to deep breathe. You know, you can split it up and do it several times a day. It's going to give your body a reset and it will really help you find that calm in the storm. We have to be those people that uh, center our community, center our families, center ourselves. We want to really access that soft spot in our heart right now and access generosity kindness, compassion, empathy for each other, because we are all in this together. None of us are alone in this, even if it may feel that way. Fight or flight is not good for our immune system. So we wanna really stay calm. We don't have an acute emergency right now. We're trying to prevent this virus from spreading. So we all have to do our part and we all have to follow uh, the simple guidelines for hand washing, as well as using our um, hand sanitizer and keeping our surfaces clean. Uh, do not go to your gym. Most gyms are closed. Uh, do not go to the grocery store unless you need to. Um, and But keep, stay with your family right now and go outside and get some exercise. Do the basic things that you know are good for your body. You will get through this. We will get through this. And please use your primary care physician as your resource. This is what we were trained for. This is what we're here for. And this is where we can really be of great assistance. So let us give the emergency room physicians and the urgent care doctors a, a little break here, a little breather while they regroup and really try to contain the chaos that's out there right now. So that's it for today. Stay healthy, take good care of yourselves. I'm thinking of you. I love you, my patients. This is Dr. Rose Kumar signing off for right now.